Go beyond the expected with the number one most dependable mass market brand three years in a row by J.D. Power. Lease the new 2023 EV6 Wind for $3.99 a month. has been lending customers a helping hand since 1997. But life has gotten much busier, and convenience matters. So now, you can choose how you apply. Call, click, or come in. You can call, and we'll help you complete your application over the phone. You can click, skip the phone call, and go online anytime, anyplace. Or come in and chat face-to-face -face with a real person with real solutions. So, when you need cash fast, we've got your back. Apply now. Call, click, or come in to Speedy Cash. Love that Speedy Cash. Ugh, this rental car is so boring to drive. Let's be honest. The rent-a-car industry is the definition of boring. And the reason can be found in the name itself. Rent-a-car? You don't want a friend. You want the friend. You don't want a job. You want the job. The is always over a. Uh. That's why we don't offer a car. We offer the car. Six. Rent the car. Jerome's opened in 1954. And now it's her 69th birthday. Get 69 month financing with no interest or we'll pay your sales tax. Pay $831 for this dining set and get two side chairs free only at Jerome's. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. A slow speed pursuit through the San Fernando Valley. A man spotted driving through the streets in a golf cart with a dog in hand. We'll show you how it all came to an end. Good morning, I'm Annie Rose Ramos. Could the writer's strike be coming to a close? Coming up, what we know so far about a tentative deal between the writers and the studios after a nearly five months long strike. Good morning, I'm Lena Bervion live here in Long Beach. Coming up next, 177 miles. The city streets here will be getting a big reduction when it comes to the speed limit. We'll tell you which ones and why, that's next. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. We talked about the idea of cutting the work week to four days, but now some schools are getting in on the trend. Why not everyone is on board with the idea of reducing class days to just four? Good morning, everyone. I'm Dana Devin in for Sam. Coming up, we get a brand new look at the new Paw Patrol. In the Entertainment Report, stay tuned. All right, here we go. Still some cloud fog and haze at the beaches, but that should be clearing out by mid-morning, if not midday for sure. And uh, the temperatures are going to remain a little bit on the cool side. 71 for the beaches, 77 downtown Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley up to 86 degrees. That's nice. Orange County Inland, 79, 85 in the Inland Empire. High desert, 88 degrees. A little bit of a warm-up and then a cool-down. We'll have all the details for you coming up. Let's go to Ginger and traffic. What a beautiful shot coming in from Huntington Beach. Uh, some people like it scorching at the beaches, but I love it like this with some like chilly, chill and cool side. Now for us, we have that situation that continues maybe 15, 20 more minutes before they can release a couple of those left lanes after this um, crash, or actually more so a big rig that ended up getting its trailer unhitched from the cab. So it was loaded up with a whole bunch of rocks and maybe some of that spilling into the roadway as well. But the Sigler issued for those two left lanes, 15 northbound side right here at the 91. Remember, a Sigler unplanned lane closure of 30 minutes or longer. This one could go again until about 8.15, 8.20. This is the 405 South. So Sunset Boulevard is where the crash involving a motorcyclist took place. And it hap it's still happening in that carpool lane. They're stopping lanes right about Getty Center so they can try to either get some of the units to the scene, try to clear some of this over to the right shoulder. We know that's a tough spot. Then you add this into the mix, really not helping. But in general, I don't want to fool anybody. We are seeing much better Monday conditions than we've seen in the past because in honor of Yom Kippur. We'll watch all these things that are popping up for your ride. I'll send it back to you, Jess and Frank. After nearly five months on strike, Hollywood writers have reached a tentative deal with the major studios. WGA members will still need to approve it before the strike can officially come to an end. And of course, the actors are...